Hey guys, it's Danny, and today is the first video in our April series, Clean and Green with Danny. This entire month, I'm gonna be focusing on green recipes that help support detoxing and cleansing since that's a natural thing that people tend to be doing this time of the year. And I want us to all stay connected by taking pictures of the recipes that you're trying or the recipes that you're making and then sharing them on Instagram and Facebook by using the hashtag clean and green with Danny. This way I can see what you guys are doing, you can see what I'm doing, and we can all stay connected throughout the month. Now today I'm gonna to be sharing my go-to formula for making a green juice and three green juice recipes. Now if you're brand new to juicing, then you may wanna check out my Juicing 101 video right over here because in that video, I cover all of the basics of juicing. What you need, why you might do it, and I just try to answer all the questions I possibly can that somebody who would be new to juicing might have. So be sure to check that out if juicing is brand new for you. Okay. So now let's discuss how to build a green juice. Once you have this formula down, you will really never need another recipe for green juice again, other than maybe for a little inspiration. So grab your pen, here's what you need to know. Number one, you wanna create the base of your juice with a veggie that is high in water content. Celery and cucumbers are ideal. Number two, Pick your dark leafy greens. Now you can go big and bold and use a green like kale or Swiss chard, or you can start with something a little bit milder like a romaine. They are all dark leafy greens and they all count. Number three, choose a fruit. Now when it comes to fruit, I don't like to go more than one fruit per drink because I don't want the sugar content to climb super high. So I usually try to stick to one fruit because I do like the way it sweetens and rounds out the green drinks. And some of my favorites are apples, pears, and pineapple. And then finally, number four are your flavor boosters. Things like ginger, fresh herbs, parsley, mint, cilantro, lemons, limes, all of these um, ingredients are gonna add a boost and a kick to your drink without adding any sugar and really adding a lot of delicious flavor to your green juice. Now that is my go-to formula for making a green juice. And once you know that, once you have that in your back pocket, you can make green juices all day long. But a little inspiration never hurts, so right now I am about to share with you three of my favorite green juice recipes. First up is the Green Monster. Now there's lots of different ways to make the Green Monster. It's a very popular green drink. You've probably seen different versions of it all over the web, but here, my friends, is how I like to make it. I have one stalk of celery, half of a cucumber, that's our water base, two leaves of kale, four leaves of romaine. Those are our greens. Then for my fruit, I use just a half of an apple, and then I flavor boost it with half of a lemon, and you always have to remember to take the peel off your citrus when you're juicing, and a couple sprigs of parsley. Mm. This one is so bright and fresh. It's very green. It's perfect for any of you guys who are ready to dive into your green juice head first. Next up, I have my minty pineapple greens. Now, pineapple is super sweet, so this green juice is perfect for anybody who wants to ease their way into their green juice. I've got two stalks of celery, a quarter cucumber, one cup of fresh sweet pineapple, then I use about four to five kale leaves. Just love myself some kale. And then five or six fresh mint leaves. That gives it a really bright, fresh flavor. Mmm. I love this combination. The combination of the pineapple and the mint, they make it really fresh really clean and bright. This is definitely great for anybody who wants to start easing their way into a green juice. And then the final juice that I have been loving lately is one that I like to call earthy greens. And that's because the star of the show are fresh beets. And the beets have a very earthy, grounded flavor to them. So here's what we're gonna start with. I've got half of a cucumber. Then I have two small beets that I peeled one carrot, 
And with this juice, I'm not adding any fruit because the beets and the carrots are very sweet because they have a high sugar content, so you don't even need the fruit in this juice. Three leaves of kale. Got to get those greens in. You could also do shard here, a Swiss shard. And then I have about an inch worth of ginger. Now the ginger is great for circulation and for digestion, and it really adds a kick to the juice. So start with a little, and then you can work your way up if you like that flavor. Mm. This one has a very earthy, sweet flavor, but it also gets a kick from the ginger, so it's like sweet and spicy. I would have to say this juice is for the more advanced green juice drinker. Absolutely delicious though. So those are the three green juices that I've been really into lately, but now I wanna hear from you. What is your go-to green juice combination and or which of these three juices do you think you might be interested in trying first? And remember, I would love it if you guys could snap a picture of your creations and share them on Instagram and Facebook with the hashtag clean and green with Danny. This way we can all stay connected throughout the month and support each other and see what each other are up to. Oh, and by the way, guys, if anybody's interested in purchasing a juicer, I absolutely love my juicer. I use the Try Best Green Star Elite juicer. I'm a big fan, so if you are interested, it's definitely one worth checking out, and I will leave you the information and a link down below on where you can learn more about it and purchase it if you wanted to. If you want to print any of my recipes, make sure you head on over to cleananddelicious.com. And while you're there, make sure that you subscribe to my newsletter because then you'll be the first to hear about all of the clean and delicious updates. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Making, if you're making one of my recipes, if you're making one of your recipes, hash, um, This is the perfect green juice for those of you who are ready to dive feet first. Head first? Is it head first or feet first? To jump. To jump. To jump. To dive in head first. Because you dive, you hit dive with your head. The flavor is going to be red, so this is also a fun way to change it up. Flavor is going to be red? Thanks, Bang. Here we go. If you guys want to print any of my recipes, make sure you head on over to... Three, two. And if you guys want to print any of... Three, two.